what I've decided to do is um, to assemble the frame to have a good idea where we can fit it on the roof. Now I'm not going to show you the frame assembly step by step. Um, we'll just take some snippets, build the components, uh, and then we'll show you how to physically fit it to the roof and uh, install all the components on the frame. Okay, we've assembled the frame and we've fitted it on a flat roof. The orientation that the collectors will be is due north because we're in the southern hemisphere. If you're in the northern, hem if you're in northern hemisphere, then it would be due south. Um, the installation um, set for the frame comes with two configurations. There's a shorter leg like this one that's made for angled roof installations. Uh, we haven't used this because this is a flat roof, so we've used the longer backside uh, uprights and uh, they made for a flat roof installation. Okay, so what we've done is we've uh, loosely mounted the tank on top of the, of the stand. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to fit the solar collectors. The solar collectors, if you walk across, actually slots into each one of these holes. And at the bottom, they're held in place by a frame and some rubbers that make sure that it's not metal against lots. The collectors is quite a tight fit. What we're going to do with the clean green, it's basically a soap compound, is um, we're going to spray the collectors to help us slot them into the holes. Okay, so let's let's do that. Now one must be careful because the collectors is made of glass. Um, Basically, if you bump it, you break it. Okay, so that bottom end that fits into the blue rubber, and the top end basically goes into the geyser. Okay, Madandra. And the water will flow into the collector pipe. Board. Okay, got so. Okay, when installing the collectors, be very careful at the bottom of the collector, there's a little nip. That's where the vacuum was created, though, where all the air was sucked up between the two different layers of glass, and then it was sealed. So when we installed it, we actually nipped one of these. So that means the vacuum in that tube is now lost, and uh, it's now no longer a, a good thermoflast. Okay, so when we installed the um, the tank or when we put it up on the stand we we didn't actually properly fix it to the frame um, 
so that there's a little bit leeway, a little bit of uh, scope to move the tank around as we insert the collectors. So the collectors are all inserted now. And now we need to make sure that the tank is properly uh, fastened and, and fitted. So uh, the last little bit that needs to be done um, in terms of fitting the collectors in the tank. In the next video I'll talk a little bit about fitting uh, all the pipes and the backup tank um, and fitting the electric element and some safety issues around fitting elements um, and uh, once all of that stuff is done we can basically open up the taps and see how it works that's my old uh, solar PV installation uh, which we're going to replace in uh, in a future edition. While I'm standing on the roof I also noticed that my uh, my neighbor actually uses a direct system uh, which basically consists of black pipes to heat his uh, swimming pool. Uh, 